Hello YouTube. Um, actually today I, I wanted to make a video about uh, how to change a motor mount on a Nissan Sentra 2011. But um, I, I actually kind of got the the idea after I had started. But you know, oh well. I guess you'll see me put it in the you know the reverse way, but. Uh, it's pretty much the same, the same thing, you know. Once you when, once you actually get started. Um, now this is why I wanted to change it because I I went down there probably like a week ago, and I went I went uh wanted to do an oil change on it, and when I was under the vehicle, I saw the I saw the motor mount, you know, just split in two, and I said, uh oh. And that kind of made sense because there was this weird rattling noise in the engine. I thought it was something, something even worse. But good thing it was only, only this thing right here. But um, so the the only thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a ratchet, a 18 size. I don't know if you can see that there. There you go. Uh, you're gonna need a 18 socket a ratchet and I had this bar that that was gonna actually help me out but it's actually half an inch so it didn't fit on this uh, quarter inch over here but oh well whatever so I just got this PVC pipe over here and uh, I stuck it in there and made it work but uh, all right let me show you real quick what's going on down here <clears throat> Don't hate me, because uh, I'm doing this with one hand, but, um, okay, so, this is where the motor mount was at, okay, this is like a little bracket for the motor mount, this one bolt, this bolt goes into the, the loose end, the one that was split in two, right here, and then the, the thick part goes into here, something like this. gonna go something like this but on the inside see that and see that that's that's how it's gonna go okay now that's the only thing you gotta do I had to loosen up this one a bit because it was kind of on the way for me to actually taking it out so I just loosened it up and uh, I'm gonna tighten it back real quick now don't forget about a jack okay you're gonna need a jack. Uh, you could probably have the the, the triangle-looking one. I have this a uh, two-ton one. It's a, it's no big difference. Make sure to put a two by four, or a, I put actually a two by six on this one, um, just so I could keep the the full support of the engine on it. Now that the motor mount's not on. Um, now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and set it up, and I'm gonna record it back how how I made it and. Hopefully this helps you guys out. You know, it's it's actually quite easy. Just come down here, put the jack, pick up the engine just a bit, uh, loosen up the bolts. Actually, one of them, the, this one right here, it's actually uh, just probably that's why it was fucked up. You know, it was all messed up, but it was actually kind of hand tied. So that's why I'm guessing it it moved around too much and it made so much friction that it actually busted it in two. Now this one was actually quite hard. And so was this one. Um, that's why I had to use the two by uh, the PVC pipe. Is that, I believe a two two inch pipe. It's a, it would be actually easier if you know you guys had something, you know, thinner. But uh, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it. But uh, let me let me put this away real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, then here it goes. Uh, I kind of had a little bit of a struggle. To putting it back in there because uh, the holes wouldn't align. So I had this one go in, but then this middle one uh, right here, this one wouldn't go in because that I mean that one was in, but this one wouldn't go in, and then this one wouldn't go in because it was a little bit shifted to the back. And then um, the only thing I had to do is put the bolt in, just kind of screw it in a little bit. You know, I, I was actually hand tied. It's still a little loose. You can still see it. Um, and then 
I came over here, I put this one in, I tied this one down with the with the um, with the bolt or with this bolt on. Uh, and then once I I was able to pull from 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 rear to back or I guess rear, uh, from front to back, I was able to align this one in the middle and once it was aligned, I was able to just push it in. So I had to put this one in first and then this one and then I'm actually I'm I'm they're all they're all threaded already. The only thing I got to do I just got to finish it up. This they're all they're all loose, but uh, now I just wanted to show you how how I kind of did it. Um, I was actually looking at them as well. Let me get to. I was looking at them, make sure that you know uh, they were both done I guess properly, and there's no actual side to them. They're both identical sides. Um, I didn't see any. Anything that said, you know, top, bottom, or anything like that. It's just, I guess, part numbers and brands and stuff like that on it. Um, the other one, it was the same thing. No no big difference on the front or back. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to bolt it down. I'm going uh, to probably crank it up. And everything should be good to go. Hopefully, this helped you guys out. Um, I really wasn't able to, you know, show you a full, detailed video of how to doing it. But, um... I uh, just pretty much pointed out the main things how to do it. Uh, once you're down here, it's it's gonna be extremely easy if you have like some sort of a background of how to doing it. But uh, uh, good luck, and hopefully yours is not as bad as mine. But uh, let me see if I can focus this thing. <laughs> All right then, YouTube, have a have a good day. Bye bye.